This is the sixth lecture of the series of lectures under the caption bracket algebra. Firstly, let us make a brief recap of the essential features of the previous lecture 5. If we consider a region defined by the unit vectors x cap or e1 cap and y cap or e2 cap mutually inclined at 90 degrees, then an important property of the two unit vectors is that they are orthonormalized. If we consider a region defined by the unit vectors x cap or e1 cap, y cap or e2 cap and z cap or e3 cap, all mutually inclined at 90 degrees. Then an important property of the three unit vectors is that they are orthonormalized. The relation vector A dot vector B is equal to zero is the condition of orthogonality of vector A and vector B. The relation bra A ket B equal to zero is the condition of orthogonality of ket A and ket B. This also means that ket A and ket B are independent of each other, which implies that ket A and ket B are orthogonal. Fixing the length to unity is normalization, that is setting norm to 1. Suppose ket A is not normalized. A within double vertical bars on both sides represents norm of ket A. Ket A by norm of ket A is ket A divided by under root bra A ket A, which represents a normalized ket A. So ket divided by norm of ket is a normalized ket. Only normalized kets are considered in quantum mechanics. All kets used are of unit length. This is called normalization. Kets have direction, they are analogous to unit vectors. We now discuss what we mean by Euclidean space. A physical or real space where events occur is described by Euclidean space. Euclidean space is a fundamental space of geometry. Euclidean space represents an ordered collection of real numbers. A one-dimensional space or line is denoted by capital R superscript 1, that is R1, and here it is. To denote or specify a point, we need one number. A two-dimensional space or plane is denoted by capital R superscript 2, that is R2, and this is it. To denote or specify a point, we need two numbers. A three-dimensional space is denoted by capital R superscript 3, that is R3, and we represent it in this way, drawing three axes, x, y, z. To denote or specify a point, we need three numbers. Extending the idea, we can go over to a n-dimensional space denoted by Rn. And to denote or specify a point in this space, we need n numbers, where n is a finite number. So we are referring to a finite dimensional space, the Euclidean space. Distance between two points x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2 in 3D is given by Pythagoras formula namely d equal to under root x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square plus z1 minus z2 whole square. This is a space where we define vectors through ordered collection of real numbers called components or coordinates or projections. Here is x-axis and this is y, z is here. Suppose this is a vector we denote by vector a. Drop projection onto x-axis from the tip of vector a. The distance of the foot from origin is denoted by a suffix x. This is the projection from the tip of vector a on the y-axis and the foot is denoted by a y 
and similarly the projection of vector a on the z axis is a z so the coordinates of vector a are a x a y a z we can add similar components of two such vectors suppose Vector a1 has coordinates ax1, ay1, az1 and vector a2 has coordinates ax2, ay2, az2. Then vector a is defined by the components ax1 plus ax2, ay1 plus ay2, az1 plus az2. We can multiply a vector a with a real number say x to get another vector x vector a equal to capital vector a. Let us define it in that way. Euclidean space is a real vector space. Consider addition of two vectors in Euclidean space, vector a1 plus vector a2 that generates vector a. Power of vector a1, vector a2 is 1. Hence it is a linear addition. Operation of addition is done in a linear fashion. Linear operation on vectors is defined in Euclidean vector space. So it behaves as a real linear vector space. We abbreviate this as real LVS. So Euclidean space is a real linear vector space. Let us now discuss linear vector space often abbreviated as LVS. Why is it needed at all? In classical mechanics, state of a macro system is x, p, x for position, p for momentum. They are represented by precise values and so by definite points in phase space, which is a x versus p plot. So points in phase space represent state of system. In quantum mechanics, precise x precise p are not simultaneously possible and so points in phase space do not represent states. To describe microsystem through quantum mechanics we need a linear mathematical framework where vectors can be operated upon. Such space or region is a linear vector space. Elements of linear vector space will contain all information about system and these elements of linear vector space are called states of system. A quantum mechanical system is described by state vector ket psi. Now why vector? Because it is an element of linear vector space. Let us now discuss properties of linear vector space. The rules defining linear vector space. Linear vector space contains a set of elements called vectors, say ket vectors, as for example ket psi, ket phi, ket xi, ket chi, etc. If ket vectors ket psi, ket phi, ket xi, ket chi belong to linear vector space denoted by capital V, then we can perform the following operations. Addition operation ket psi plus ket phi equal to ket xi, which is a ket generated in the same linear vector space. Addition is associative. Suppose we add ket psi and ket phi first and then add the sum to ket xi. It will be the same if we add ket phi and ket xi first and then add the sum to ket psi. Addition is commutative ket psi plus ket phi equal to ket phi plus ket psi. The linear vector space is a set of elements defined on a certain field of scalars or numbers say a, b, c. The field of scalars can be a field of real numbers a, b, c or can be a field of complex numbers a, b, c. Back to statement of the rules. A ket psi gives ket phi which is a ket generated in the same linear vector space. A into B ket psi equal to AB ket psi. A into ket psi plus ket phi equal to A into ket psi plus A into ket phi. Also A plus B ket psi equal to A into ket psi plus B into ket psi. Let us define a null ket vector as ket null 
identically represented by 0, which is a vector with all components 0. The rules are ket psi plus 0 equal to ket psi, where this 0 is a null vector. For scalars 1, 0, minus 1, let us emphasize that this 0 is a scalar. 1 into ket psi is ket psi. 0 into ket psi is 0. This 0 is a scalar or number while this 0 is null vector. On the left side there is a ket. So on the right side we should get a ket which is the null ket. Minus 1 into ket psi is minus ket psi. Example of linear vector space. Euclidean space contains scalars or numbers, real vectors and linear operations on them. So it is a linear vector space. Clearly R1, R2, R3, Rn are all linear vector spaces. A linear vector space defined in a field of real numbers is a real linear vector space. Here multiplication by real numbers is allowed only. A linear vector space defined on a field of complex numbers is called a complex linear vector space. Here multiplication by complex numbers is also allowed. Consider a set of n cross 1 column matrices. For n equal to 2, say the column matrices a1, a2 and b1, b2. The following operations are possible. Addition operation column a1 a2 plus column b1 b2 is equal to column c1 c2. Associative operation is as follows. Commutation operation column matrix a1 a2 plus column matrix b1 b2 is the same as column matrix b1 b2 plus column matrix a1 a2. X into column matrix A1, A2 is equal to column matrix B1, B2 where B1 is X, A1 and B2 is X, A2 where X is a number. These relations hold as a rule. Next, X plus Y into column A1, A2 is X into A1, A2 plus Y into A1, A2. Clearly, the set of N cross 1 column matrices obey the rules of linear vector space. So set of n cross 1 column matrices form a linear vector space. Consider the simple harmonic equation namely d2 x dt square plus omega square x equal to 0. This is a linear equation. Solutions are e to the power i omega t and e to the power minus i omega t. General solution is a linear combination namely x equal to a into e to the power i omega t plus b into e to the power minus i omega t or x equal to cos omega t or x equal to sin omega t or x equal to a cos omega t plus b sin omega t the linear combination of cos and sin. The solutions obey the rules of linear vector space. So the solutions of the equation d2 x dt square plus omega square x equal to 0 form a linear vector space. Note that definition of linear vector space does not include length of a vector, product of two vectors, distance between two vectors. A few words about representation of element of linear vector space. Elements are ket vectors written as color matrix say ket psi equal to x1 x2 ket phi equal to y1 y2 in 2D linear vector space that is R2. As we cannot multiply to color matrices but we can multiply a row matrix and a color matrix we define another linear vector space whose elements are row matrices denoted by bra vector bra xi rho f1 f2 bra chi rho g1 g2 the space is called bra space this cannot be ket space since columns and rows cannot be added and so they exist in different spaces taking hermitian conjugate generates bra from a ket bra is a row matrix ket is a column matrix and ket from a bra 
So bra space is dual to ket space. If ket space is a linear vector space, then bra space is also another linear vector space that is dual to V and represented by V bar. For every element, a ket in ket space, there is a dual element or Hermitian conjugate ket dagger that is a bra in the bra space. For every element, a bra in bra space, there is a dual element or Hermitian conjugate bra dagger that is a ket in the ket space. So ket A that is column matrix A1, A2 is an element in ket space but ket A dagger equal to bra A equal to row matrix A1 star A2 star is an element in bra space. Note that a point in linear vector space is defined by ascribing some numbers called coordinates. Here is a point in a space defined and described by x-axis, y-axis and z-axis and let the connector to the origin be the vector A. Some numbers are associated to such representation of the vector A and they are A1, A2, A3. Say these numbers can be put as a row matrix or A1, A2, A3 or as a column matrix column A1, A2, A3. It makes no difference how the point is defined. This means the two ways of arranging coordinates either as a row or as a column are equivalent. This means that linear vector space V and V bar are equivalent. The spaces can even be same and in that case they are called self-dual and this occurs for Euclidean space Rn. Definition of inner product. Let us pick up a bra from bra space V bar, say bra shy equal to row A1, A2 and pick up a ket from ket space V, ket phi equal to column B1, B2. Form the inner product bra shy ket phi equal to A1, B1 plus A2, B2 which is a number complex in general. We emphasize that bra shy ket phi is not equal to bra phi ket shy in general. So inner product is not commutative in a complex linear vector space. But in real linear vector space we know that vector A dot vector B equal to vector B dot vector A which means that dot product is commutative. Let us end up with two questions. What is a basis? What is Hilbert space? We shall discuss what criteria are needed for a set of kets to be a basis in lecture 7 and we shall discuss Hilbert space in lecture 8.